Hmm. And this happens every night, Miss Vibia? Call me Anne, dear. Yes, every single night since my dear sister Dee... Sorry, uh, what did Dee do? Dee did died. Dude! No, no, she's right. Dee did... Croaked. <laughs> nice one, yeah. No, I get that. Sometimes I forget she's... She always used to say this place was haunted. I should have believed her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, OK, the microphones are all working now. We'll hear every croak with clarity. Oh, do you speak frog, dear? I picked up a little cane toad off my mum's cousin. <gasps> oh, my! Oh, yeah, I don't think we're allowed to say that anymore. OK. And, uh, and you're absolutely sure this wasn't done by guests? Well, that would explain it. But look, I haven't had a guest in years. <gasps> a ghost book! Brilliant! <sighs> oh! Not a ghost book. Oh, no one's written in this for ages. <sighs> My business is completely... Well, I've found out why no one's written in the guest book in years. <gasps> She killed them all? Oh, if anything, they murdered her. <gasps> with terrible reviews! People haven't been writing in her guest book, but they have been giving her reviews online. Listen to this. The garbage can in the alley was cleaner than my room. Her incessant hoping... I think they should be hopping. ...in the night drove me hopping maid. Mm-mm, mad. First. What? One star, one star, one star. Oh, five! <laughs> so funny. Crazy fog lady trashed her own tidy place. Lol. Whatever works for ya. What do you think it is? Possession? Hysteria. Insurance fraud? Nope. I don't think it's fraud. In fact, I don't think it's any of those things. <laughs> We've gone through hours of footage, and on the bright side, you don't have any spirits. But what you do have is a sleepwalking b and B host. Oh, that's why my hurt this morning. Really showed that chest of drawers whose books, Miss Fibia? Hold on, Vim, rewind that ten seconds. OK, hang on. Alrighty, got it. Bottom left of the frame, can you zoom in on that? Dude, just move closer. Oh. Press play. Bring up the kitchen fruit. <coughs> oh, that's where that was. Hmm. I believe there's something else afoot here. We have been assuming that your sleepwalking has been causing the damage to this fine establishment. And yes, the idea of supernatural going on also crossed our mind. But upon looking closer at the tape, it's both. Yes, it's clear you sleepwalk, but any spirit you may have in this cottage is actually helping you. Huh? Observe. Oh, I hope you're going to that up. Yeah. Was that the wind? <laughs> well, it wasn't mine. <laughs> Is that you, Dee? Of course it's me. Who else would be looking after you? I knew it. Th there was a ghost. You said it wasn't a ghost. Hey, 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 from the ghost. From the ghost, please. So it turns out the ghost of Anne's sister was in fact protecting her while she was sleepwalking. Let's listen in on this heartfelt family reunion. How dare you? I do not always make a mess, and I definitely do not need your help. Oh, you know you've always been a messy sleepwalker. I spent years cleaning up after you. That's why we never had any guests. Well, maybe it was your awful snoring that drove them away. Snoring? Why, you... OK. <laughs> um, I guess the saying, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your whanau, exists even in the afterlife. And as they also say, see you next time on Night Eyes. Like and subscribe.